Okay, so guys, welcome. Uh, my name is Amit, and I welcome you all to the demo session of Linux. Uh, to be specific, Red Hat Linux. And uh, throughout, I mean, through this demo, I'll explain you a few things about uh, what is the market trend. If you are looking for a job, what skills you should have, okay? And uh, what is this Red Hat? Okay, so basically Red Hat is a very big organization, but still I will explain you how uh, Red Hat is a big player in IT industry. Okay, and as well as I will also tell you, what are you going to learn in Linux from networkings? What am I going to teach you? Okay, so first of all, let me just give you a small introduction about Red Hat Linux and about this course. All right. And uh, yeah, we will have a Q&A session as well towards the end. So just take notes of <clears throat> take notes of all your questions which come to your mind. And in the Q&A session, I will try to address all of the questions. OK. All right. So first of all, uh, something about myself. My name is Amit. I have over 12 years of experience. Uh, majorly in Linux server administration and automation. And I am certified in Red Hat uh, RHCSA and RHCE, which means Red Hat Certified System Administrator and Red Hat Certified Engineer. Okay. So basically, I am uh, certified in automation. I am certi certified in operating system as well, Red Hat operating system. Okay, so you know you will be listening this word automation again and again from my side because automation is the need of the industry right now. If you are a fresher, you have a very good chance that you can learn automation with one operating system and you can get your dream job actually. Okay, so right now automation DevOps this is this is the requirement right now. You know the market is filled with uh, these openings for these skills. All right, let's come to the main topic, the Linux operating system. Why are we talking about Linux? Why is Linux so useful? And if you know Linux, how can you be sure that you are going to get a job? Okay, so Linux is a another operating system in the market. Okay, but is it is a very special operating system. Like we say operating system like Windows. Okay, you use laptops, you have your Windows, app, uh, Windows operating system. Windows 11 is the latest, right? Similarly, there is Mac OS that is also an operating system in your phones. You have Android that is a, a phone operating system in iPhone. There is iOS. Okay. So basically in wherever you have a look around uh, around yourself, you will find devices and on all of the devices, most of the devices, there will be a operating system. Uh, most recent operating system, uh, Chrome OS you might have seen chromebooks okay so in chromebooks there is an operating system by the name chrome os okay similarly we have linux operating system but what is the importance what are the you know features or or why is linux so important so linux is imported in the industry okay in industry means companies use linux operating system on their physical servers so that their servers perform good in every situation okay Linux server will never hang up. They will never hang. They will never, uh, you know, give any sort of problems. The performance you will get is really high as compared to other operating systems. Okay. So plus security and stability. So in short, Linux is a very robust application, uh, robust operating system. It can handle any op app application, whatever you want to run. Okay. Without any issues without performance issues or whatever it is. Okay. Plus, uh, you know, maintaining Linux operating system is very easy. Unlike Windows, you might have heard uh, Microsoft release a Windows patch, Windows update, and the servers uh, got, you know, some issues. Servers are getting errors after update. So basically that happens more frequently in Windows, but in Linux, this is very rare. Okay. So basically how Linux uh came into existence you know uh, in, around 1969 1970 uh, there was a very popular operating system by the name unix u n i x okay so that was basically based on c language c and c++ language okay and that was you know very popular operating system at that time 
universities, schools were using uh, that operating system on their computers, that early generation computers. Okay. So, you know, at that time, there was a guy by the name Linus Torvalds. He's still alive. Okay. He's still active. He's still developing uh, codes. So at that time, there was a guy Linux Torvalds. He was interested in this operating system, Unix. And he wanted to make his own operating system just like Unix, similar to Unix, or we can say clone of Unix. All right. So what he did is he used C, C++ coding skills. He was engineer basically, and he knew this programming language C and C++. He used C and C++ and created a kind of a replica of the Unix operating system and gave it a name Linux, L-I-N-U-X. Okay. The developer name is Linus, L-I-N-U-S. All right. So this is the differentiation. So Linus Torvalds is the guy who basically uh, developed this operating system as a hobby. So basically he designed the kernel. Kernel is what? Kernel is the main part of any operating system, main component. So kernel is a program which is going to talk to the hardware. Okay. So even in your phone, in your Android phones, you have a kernel version something. If you have Android version 12, you will have kernel version 4 point something like that. So kernel is the main component which talks to the hardware. So Linus Torvalds designed the kernel first of all. Okay. So that was the first step and he was taking it as a hobby. Okay. So he wanted to develop this operating system as a hobby. And you know what he did later on? See, building an operating system is never easy. It's not a job of a single developer. You need a team actually. You need a team of, let's say 50 people or hundred people. So at that time, it was really difficult to find, you know, dedicated people working on the same program. So what he did, he opened his Linux operating system in the world of open source, which means anyone can download the source code and anyone can modify it. If there are errors, those can be fixed by some other developers. Okay. So this is the power of uh, open source. So uh, Linus Torvalds released his uh, hobby project uh, Linux on the open source platform and around the globe, wherever, you know, developers were available, they used, they downloaded the source code and they modified it. So eventually the main code was improving day by day. Okay. So main code was improving day by day. So as when I say anyone can download. Right. So there comes the entry of Red Hat company. So the company, the organization Red Hat, they, they, what they did is they downloaded this project Linux uh, operating system project and converted into a full fledged operating system as a product. Okay. So they converted this Linux project into a product which they can sell. Okay. So basically what they did is they downloaded the Linux source code. They improved it. They added few commands. They added few features and then they gave it to the industry, to the companies to try it. If you like it, you can use it. You have to pay a fee for the support. Support means if there is, you know, some uh, problem in the operating system, some uh, thing is not working, then people from Red Hat company will contact you and they will fix it within few hours, maybe two hours or four hours like that. Okay. So the payment is for that support. So operating system is free. You can download it. You can use it, but yes, you want to update it. Then you need to pay the subscription fee. You want the support, then you need to pay the subscription fee. So basically Red Hat Linux is designed for the companies where they cannot afford downtime. They don't want their servers to get down or to, uh, you know, to crash rapidly or to give problems. They will, they will face, they will have to face business loss. So to avoid the situation, companies prefer stable operating system such as Red Hat Linux. Okay. So, and if you can, if you want to search it, you can search it on the internet also, like on the Google, like how many companies are using Red Hat operating system. Okay. It is very famous right now because it is very stable and secure, but, uh, there is one more thing. I just said that, you know, Linux. Initially is what an open source project. Hi, you are watching the recording from one of our live session. Hit like, share and subscribe for more future updates. Okay. Uh, open, open source means free to use, free to download. 
डाउनलोड वट टू डाउनलोड सोर्स कोड ओके सो यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस सोर्स कोड All right, so this is a very good feature. But why is Red Hat doing this subscription thing? So Red Hat has done the same thing. They downloaded the project, download Linux, modify it, and then they are selling it, right? Similar to Red Hat, there is another company by the name Suze. They are also doing the same thing. They download Linux, they modify it, and they are selling it. okay so suze offers some different set of features red hat offers some different set of features so so but if you talk about the share uh, almost 80% share is of red hat linux 20% for suze okay so if you join any company let's say you join as a linux administrator 90% of the time you will see red hat linux operating system on the servers okay there will be very less windows and yes uh, majorly you will see linux servers are running okay so this is fine red hat is in the business of you know selling the operating system suze is also there then you might have heard about this name ubuntu okay what is, what are they doing they are also doing the same thing there is only one difference they are not selling it okay they download the linux from the open source they modify it and instead of selling they are distributing it for free okay so they are distributing it for free similarly there is one more thing uh, not one more actually there are many more just like ubuntu there is mint os there is arc os there is a uh, cent os but you know what cent os is also free uh, it is free to download free everything is free and it is uh, maintained by red hat only so red hat has three operating system which i will tell you uh, so, so centos is also one of them so red hat is all only selling this product which is by the name rhel version 8 is the latest rhel means red hat enterprise linux version 8 okay this is the latest version so so we are going to learn red hat enterprise linux version 8 the reason the primary reason because the use of rhel is uh, phenomenal the openings the job positions are also very high the demand for linux administrators is very high and companies normally prefer if you have a red hat certification they are going to hire you the process will be really smooth for example there is a certification entry level certification called rhcsa so red hat certified uh system administrator okay so this is the level 1 certification the first certification if you clear this certification you can go for level 2 which is called rhce red hat certified engineer all right so red hat certified engineer is the uh, certification which includes 100% automation questions okay so i will tell you this later uh, regarding rhce but you should if you are a fresher or if you want to switch your existing job uh, to linux related job then you should consider uh, you know applying for this rhcsa certification as well yes knowledge is fine but you know what happens these days uh if you check for linux openings let's say linux fresher if you search this on maybe linked uh what what is that nokri nokri or monster okay if you search this you will see number of job postings maybe 100 maybe maybe close to 1000 700 to 1000 openings will be there at a time and you will see most of the uh, job profiles uh the job description include rhcsa mandatory okay rhcsa mandatory so if in case if in case you don't have the rhc certification then you are not going to apply on that on those jobs okay so why to miss that chance so that's what all, what all i'm saying okay so yes knowledge is primary but if you are also certified this actually proves your metal that you know 
how to handle the servers in live situation in production environment okay so when you when you clear the exam this proves to the uh, what do you call it hiring managers and the interviewers that yes you know you can handle it you can do it okay all right um, where is that slide yes so uh, so i was telling you about the free linux and the paid linux like let me list few things free linux operating system and paid so in paid we just have two rhel and sles sles means suze linux enterprise server rhel means red hat enterprise linux current version is 8 here and in sles 15 is there we are going to learn about rhel 8 in free linux we have fedora cent os ubuntu mint os arc os etc okay so these are all for free uh, can you can companies use them actually not the reason is fedora is provided by red hat company only they are, red hat is maintaining this operating system so basically this fedora is kind of a test operating system whenever they build a new feature or they have a new update which has to be applied on rhel all those code will be applied to the fedora operating system first of all it is a kind of a test operating system so if the testing passes if if there are no bugs reported or all the bugs are fixed then the same code is deployed on centos operating system this is also free to use you can use it as a student but as a student do not use fedora fedora contains so many errors so many bugs so centos is somewhat bug free still it has 10% bugs but for a student it doesn't matter if you are if you are a new uh, student in linux you can use centos which is for free okay uh, so fedora centos and then red hat so these are the three operating systems which red hat is going to provide you okay so they use fedora as a level 1 testing platform centos as level 2 and finally rhel red hat enterprise linux is their production version they are going to sell rhel all right when we say about ubuntu ubuntu is completely free there is no support nothing updates are free you can download you can also modify it you know similarly mint os arc os all those things yes there is one more very famous kali kali linux which you know which is used for penetration testing and all that okay so this is something that you should have clarity from day one itself and don't worry uh, when you start the course when we start the course first of all we are going to learn everything on rhel 8 yes you can also use centos for the practice but what i suggest is we are going to use rhel 8 okay so that if you if you join a company you will have the same same uh, environment you will be used to the commands and all that okay and and you know networking also provides you labs so once you enroll to the course we will share the lab credentials you can log into the online lab from the browser from your chrome browser and you you know you can just have a look at the server and you can pra practice just like this let me log in and show you So this is my online lab from Network Kings. This is the credentials I'm using it for login. So this is a kind of a sample topology which we have created. Okay, on the left you see this Linux. If I click it on a new tab, I will get this screen of my server. So I am going to log in like I will give my username password, and this is it. I logged into the server. and immediately i can start typing commands right so this is how easy it is to practice linux with network kings okay you don't want to use online lab no worries i will also teach you how to create your own lab on your own laptop we can use a software something like this vmware player okay so we can use this like you see on the left hand side i have created so many labs like so many virtual machines are there one is fedora just a second guys i think machine is powering on hold on i i think i started fedora 
no worries let it start okay and just keep a eye on the chat also uh, i am you know sharing some details like discount coupons and admission links all those things okay so this is how you can you know create your own lab i will teach you everything obviously uh, step by step we are going to cover each and every part okay so where is the slide yeah okay so if you ask how many companies are using this linux operating system you know mostly all the top multinational companies are using red hat operating system for their customers you know uh, let's say ibm ibm is is part of service industry they pick contracts from other companies and in the contract it is mentioned that ibm is going to handle their infrastructure like servers and everything so ibm has you know thousands of projects thousands of companies are getting their it managed from ibm similarly there is hcl there is tcs there is cap gemini you know around the globe there are so many companies and the it is managed by these big players ibm hcl tcs accenture okay so how many companies are using red hat actually facebook is using red hat operating system adobe cisco dell hp ibm and you know the list is never ending okay so just imagine even if you ask me i was part of ibm so ibm was my like third company i worked there for 4 5 years okay so yeah you have a big chance to enter into a big mnc and in mnc uh, you know you are going to learn if you if you get a job in a mnc you are going to learn so many things over there okay all right um yeah okay so this is the end of my slide part 1 so in the part 2 i will show you some more things so before i go to the part 2 if you have any questions you can let me know i am going to unmute you just hold on so if anyone has any question they can post it in the chat or just ask me straight away so by the time i am just showing you how fedora also looks like 